Weather News for Mauritius issued at morning hours on Wednesday the 20th of December 2023. Please like and subscribe this channel now to get more weather and cyclone updates for Australia, New Zealand, Fiji and Mauritius. Thanks. No torrential rain warning is in force in Mauritius. A heavy rain watch is in force in Mauritius. The atmospheric conditions remains moist and unstable over our region thus conducive for the formation of thunder clouds, forecast for the next 24 hours, partly cloudy in the morning, however, clouds development are expected in the afternoon to the south, southeast and over the central plateau with localized showers, the showers will be moderate to temporarily heavy at times with thunderstorms. The maximum temperature will be between 25 and 27 degrees Celsius over the central plateau and between 29 and 32 degrees Celsius along the coasts. The minimum temperature will be between 19 and 21 degrees Celsius over the central plateau and between 23 to 25 degrees Celsius over the coastal regions. Wind from the northern sector at 15 km per hour. Strengthening with gusts and showers, sea moderate beyond the reefs with waves of the order of 1 meter 50, becoming rough temporarily rough in thundery. Showers ventures at sea are not advised during thundery showers. In case of thundery showers, it is advised to remain in safe places and avoid open areas, hikings, sea ventures and sheltering under trees. Avoid places prone to water accumulation. Be very cautious on the roads due to reduced visibility resulting from heavy rains and fog patches. High tides, 752 and 2029. Low tides, 1441 and tomorrow 228. Sunrise, 526. Sunset, 1847. For Australia today, ex-tropical cyclone Jasper is currently located in the Gulf of Carpentaria and is producing areas of thick cloud with embedded thunderstorms over far northern Queensland and the top end. A broad band of cloud with isolated embedded thunderstorms is present east of a trough extending from northeastern Victoria through central New South Wales and into a low in southwestern Queensland. A secondary trough also extends from near Port Macquarie to a low offshore and southeast into the Tasman Sea. Isolated elevated thunderstorms within a band of mid to high level cloud are present over southern inland Western Australia. Onshore flow is producing low cloud about the southern coastal fringe of the continent and along the east coast of Queensland.